Hey, 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 what's up, y'all? It's Peachy P, and you're listening to the Cannabis Infusions Podcast. People, places, products, and the cannabis community. So let's talk and come smoke with me. <coughs> what's up, what's up, y'all? It's Peachy P again from the Cannabis Infusions Podcast. I'm your girl. Follow me at Big Boss Peachy. And just follow me and the page, Cannabis Infusions. Y'all, it was a crazy ass week last week, okay? So, I know I sound like a little groggy because I went out last night. Um, Shouts out to Shy Blizz. It was his birthday weekend. It was actually on Friday, so... What out last night, had a totally good time. Everybody was there. Um, ben One, shouts out to Ben One too. Uh, I've actually, speaking of Ben One, I've actually never seen that man perform in person. I didn't even know he had that many songs. Like, I didn't know Ben One had all them damn songs. I just didn't know. But I'm not really, okay, so... Me listening to Ben One is kind of like me listening to Chance the Rapper or something like that. Like me, I don't really listen to Chance the Rapper like that. So it's just like, you know, it's a little different. You know, I'm not really checking for Ben One like that. But to be honest, I really liked his music. Like when I uh, was watching them, I'm not sure if it was because I had a couple drinks or whatnot, but he got some pretty good songs. Like, I can't believe I've been sleeping this whole time on Ben One. But uh, <laughs> speaking of Ben One, um, shouts out to him. Um, also, shouts out to, like I said, Shy Blizz again for inviting uh, me and, uh, yeah, that's Toy out from Windy City Radio. Also, uh, Shouts out to um, all the artists that performed last night. It was pretty dope. Now, before I get into all of this, y'all already know how I roll. So, thank you, first of all, to my subscribers. To my new subscribers, to my subscribers that's thinking about subscribing, thank you. Um... Also, uh, I would like to say thank you for the subscribers that have actually been here subscribing. You know what I'm saying? The subscribers is subscribing, (laughs) if that even makes sense. But you all know what I'm saying. Thank y'all for supporting me. Um, You know what I'm saying? Just for being here, listening to these podcasts. Getting all this good straight up game, you know what I'm saying? Uh, getting all the updates and stuff like that. So thank y'all so much. Also, um, I just want to uh, say that everything has been a little different, you know what I'm saying? Especially during this, um, you know, season change. Like, I don't know about wherever state you're at, but it's been kind of weird because, like, in Chicago, like, it's been hot and then it's been cold. But, I mean, I kind of expected it, but it's kind of been coming in waves. Like, summer is, like, ready to come. Like, I feel it, but it's just, like, it just won't come. Like, and that's that's the thing about Chicago, like... Chicago weather does not care about your wardrobe. It does not care about what you want to do. It just cares about what the weather want to do. Like, Mother Nature really don't give a shit in Chicago. Like, I'm not even going to lie. So, speaking of weeks and it being warm and stuff, it's 420 week. So, it's a real nigga holiday, period. So, 
the weather that we had last week was way better than the weather that we had this week and I'm kind of upset about it because at the same time like I kind of wish like it was switched like last week was shitty but then this week is busting but you know you can't always have what you want which kind of sucks because it's like damn like you just can't win out here with none of the weather and none of that shit so I just want to say if you are in a different state you know what I'm saying and you are able to go outside for 420 week and it's actually nice please celebrate that for me because Chicago ain't looking too good I ain't even gonna lie like (laughs) we are not looking fantastic when it comes to 420 so I'm just letting you guys know (laughs) also let me go ahead and get it into this strand of the week y'all already know how it goes uh so the strand of the week this week is called crunch and i'm actually not sure if it's like a real strand or not but i'll definitely look that up for you guys um i'll usually have it looked up but like i said you know i was out last night kicking it and shit you know (laughs) with the gang so i you know i haven't looked up this particular strain but i'm not even really sure if it's a real strain because you know we begin street strains up in here so people just be naming a strain whatever they want and it's just like okay well how are we supposed to try all these strains but um oh shouts out to your hood heroes as well um in chicago they have a lot of good strains as well so if you guys want to check them out um but you have to be a uh you have to be like um a member so you gotta know somebody to know somebody and they have to bring you in person so if you don't know nobody and you're heading up hood heroes just make sure somebody's already a member so you can be a member that's the way it works um no do not use my name because if i don't know you guess what i'm gonna say hell no i don't know this person but you gotta come in person anyway so it doesn't even matter <laughs> Um, but they got a lot of good strains as well. Um, and, uh, it's pretty dope. Y'all, I'm kind of excited for 420 this year only because, um, my friend's birthday, Chocolate Girl writes the one with the book heart in my pocket. Okay. Um, she actually, uh, her birthday is the 21st. So happy birthday, baby. Also, um, don't forget the puffin poetry is may 6th y'all it's already about to be may and y'all know my birthday coming up may 12th so it's about to be crazy it's about to be like i feel like my birthday is gonna be the best and i gotta lose all this weight y'all ain't been to the gym in like three weeks but i'm starting back this week i'm going at night you know what i'm saying Because I usually go in the mornings and, you know, just to get it out the way. But I think I'm going to switch it up. Because, you know, when you on that gym journey, you know what I'm saying? I was going to the gym for like six months straight. And then it just wasn't fun for me no more. Like, it wasn't. And it wasn't because I feel like I got my body goals together. It wasn't even that. It was just a simple fact that, you know, it was just different going to the gym in the daytime it's just was like fuck that once you miss a day it's just like once you miss one day then you miss two days then you miss three days it's just like fuck it i'm not going to the gym you know what i'm saying but i'm kind of glad that i took a break from the gym you know what i mean even though you know i felt like my body was getting right right i just needed that break i felt like i was overdoing it you know what I'm saying? Sometimes, you know, we can overdo it with a lot of things. You know, we could overdo it with the gym. We could overdo it with giving people more than what we need to give them. And sometimes it's okay to be like, you know what? I need to take a step back and do some of this self-care because I'm overdoing it with my body. I'm overdoing it with myself. And that's cool. You know? So that's what I did. And now I'm back on it. I got a couple outfits I would like to wear for my birthday. That's probably the, the only reason why I am working out. And it look good, you know what I'm saying, when it comes to, you know, banging. I want to look good when it comes, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> when I'm having sex. <laughs> but other than that, you know what I mean, it's, I want to keep my body healthy. And I notice when I'm more healthier, you know, shit gets done faster. I got a lot more energy. So, you know, I had to take that time. 
I really did. Now I feel like, okay, I can do it. I got some new gym regimens. You know what I'm saying? That's going to help me. I'm also, you know, doing a little bit better. Even though I know better than this, I know better than that. You feel me? It's just like you got to be able to stick to that and be consistent. So I'm going to be consistent in my journey, y'all. I'll let y'all know how it is next Monday when I come back to the podcast. But um, let's talk about it, y'all. So 420 week. Um, oh, also Puffin Poetry, May 6th. That's what I was saying. Puffin Poetry, May 6th. Um, y'all know it happens every other month, every month sometimes. Um, and I think she's really happy about this uh, Puffin Poetry situation because at the same time, we really haven't had a, a Puffin Poetry in a while. And I kind of miss it. So shout out to Genesis. Also, you guys can get her book in bookstores. Uh, it's called Thunderstorms Are Meant to Be My Friend. Yes, I finally got the damn name of the damn book at the five podcast. <laughs> but y'all can uh, get hers on Amazon as well. So, you know, if you guys need some extra inspiration or to feel better about yourself or whatever, go get Heart in My Pocket, okay? And go get Thunderstorms Are Meant to Be My Friend. Get both of them books. Get both of them. And while you're at it, go get them Puff and Poetry tickets if you're in Chicago. Um, it's going to be an epic night, you guys. Um, she got some pretty dope poetry people, poets. Okay. Um, Shouts out to Salon the Poet, too. I'm going to see if he can come to the Puff and Poetry, too. If you're listening, man, come to this damn Puff and Poetry. Um, so... Yeah, uh, other than that, um, updates, uh, Shabliz's birthday, um, last week, oh, so much shit going on last week that I can't even remember, oh, my baby was on spring break last week, too, um, and it was pretty cool because at the same time, you know, when you are actually at home with your kid, right? You start to see a lot of habits. Um, and I started to see a lot of eating habits and stuff that wasn't good for him. You know what I mean? So I've been really trying to be a better parent when it comes to that. You know, yes, yeah, snacks is cool, but not all the time because you can't snack all the time. You know what I mean? Eat your vegetables. Kids hate vegetables. And I'm just like, I don't know if vegetables is an acquired taste, but at the same time, it's just like, y'all got to eat y'all vegetables because how y'all going to grow? And then my son, like, he don't be liking, and you know what I'm saying, exercise or nothing like that, but it's just like, you got to. So I'll be, try- I be making them, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of people be like, well, why are you making him exercise? Because, you know, kids can come up with different ailments. They can come up with you know, just having diabetes at a young age and, you know, having a lot of heart problems and I don't want him to have none of that. So it's good to keep the body moving. Yeah, the kids got gym, you know what I'm saying, at school, but the gym ain't really what was cracking like how our gym was cracking. So, you know, you got to make sure that you really are able to make those moves for your kids, you know. Um, his birthday this year, he's about to turn 13. I really want to do something big, but I'm not going to tell him though. Um, <laughs> but, uh, shout out to all the real parents. You know what I'm saying? All the real parents out here doing their thing. Um, being able to, uh, be a real parent and work with your kid. You know what I'm saying? Um, and not have any judgment when it comes to that. Um, but yeah, so... 420 week, you guys, it's a lot of events going on. Don't forget, if y'all haven't got y'all tickets to Sunrise Cafe, go ahead and get it. I believe there's a lot of things going on, live bands, everything. So I will definitely post those on the page for you guys. Also, I've been trying all these new products, y'all, and I haven't been recording them. And I'm just really like ashamed of myself basically because I'm supposed to be literally giving you guys the products man so that's when I look I'm gonna make it a point okay to post these damn products on the page okay I'm gonna do it for my TikTok uh so you guys can see you know these different products that way you guys can start trying them 
you know, besides the weed strands, because, I mean, that's kind of getting, you know, it's kind of getting redundant a little bit. We all know strains, but what about these different cool products out here that you can smoke, you know what I mean, that people that don't want THC in their body, you know, because they have real jobs, but they like THC to smoke. So, I'm excited about that, y'all. <laughs> Um, also, um, in other news, uh, you guys look out for some more music. If you haven't been able to stream, everything's peachy on all platforms. Make sure y'all go stream it. Um, I'm coming out with a new single as well. So just make sure y'all look for that. Uh, I definitely started making my own beats. So, you know, if y'all ask me. Like, this beat for this podcast, like, I've made it. So, you know, I'm a little talented, you know what I'm saying? A little talented, you know? (laughs) But, uh, yeah, so, I really appreciate y'all. I appreciate everybody that's listening from all the countries. We named them all. But I don't even, I don't know. I didn't even check to see if we got any new you know listeners from any other countries so i'm actually gonna check that right now to see if we got any more listeners from out the country because i know um usa stay winning like they stay winning so shouts out to usa you know what i'm saying especially chicago because that's where most of the people be coming from you know what i'm saying um also, let's just check out what other people have been listening to. What well, other people from different countries who been listening. You know what I'm saying? Um, I actually, I actually am pretty excited because I've never had like. A podcast before you know what I'm saying so it's like different um so let's check it out so we got the same people which I'm cool with uh, Illinois Indiana Virginia Massachusetts Ohio we also have Canada we also have France Ecuador, India, Antigua, and Barbuda, Paris of St. John. So, thank y'all for listening. <laughs> um, let me know in the comments what you guys want me to, to address uh, as far as anything, but I think the podcast is almost done right now. I, that's all I have to say. I just want y'all to be safe. I want y'all to be able to, you know, be cool. You know what I mean? Like, I want y'all to be cool on 420. Because in Chicago, it's been getting real crazy when it's warm. So, y'all, please be careful going to these places, going to these clubs, these events. Because you never know what can happen. Just always protect yourself, okay? And let me know, 420, I want y'all to comment on this video and let me know what you guys think um, about the podcast. Also, what you guys did for 420. So, I guess that's it. That's all I got to say, y'all, you know. And thank you guys for listening, of course. I appreciate everything. Also, uh, make sure y'all check out CannabisInfusions.com for all your updates. I'm definitely going to update the show. Um, I'm definitely going to update the website for you guys, and I'm definitely going to uh, drop all of the information that you need to know as far as uh, my Instagram, my Facebook, Big Boss Peachy, uh, Big Boss Peachy, let's get it on Facebook, Instagram, Big Boss Peachy, and then Cannabis Infusions on all platforms. Um, Cannabis Infusions is not on TikTok, only because, you know, they be hating, so... Ain't nobody got time for that shit. Um, But (laughs) y'all definitely (laughs) follow my um, TikTok on. Follow my TikTok for PGP. So 
that's where I usually do all the cannabis infusion stuff, but they've been trying to block me there too. So y'all just, you know. Also, uh, I have the promo video dropping as well for the um, Puffin Poetry as well. So y'all look out for that. Uh, and y'all have an awesome ass week. Okay. Love you guys. Holla back. Thanks for listening to the Cannabis Infusions podcast. For more information on this podcast and how to listen and watch, go to www.cannabisinfusions.com. People, places, products, and the cannabis community. Come smoke with me. <coughs>